what's up guys welcome back to another trip to thrift if you guys are enjoying the videos hit that like button it lets me know helps the channel grow go ahead and drop a comment down below and hit that sub button if you guys are not already i'm dropping some stuff off at the post office and then we're gonna head to the thrift so hopefully we'll find some good stuff this week found a sylveon plush so it's got the tags on it 2.99 found a pair of the cherry 11 lows from 2015 size 13 found the reebok hot ones collab as a medium for 4.99 on the back you got reebok hot ones for a dollar 99 we got the seth rollins or my bad Seth freaking Rollins size 2XL but it kind of looks like an XL it looks a little on the smaller side found this Mercedes-Benz polo shirt it's got the logo right there what they want $17 for it which if I had to guess it's probably worth about like $25.30 I found almost all of the easy EV evolutions five dollars each Leafeon, Flareon, Vaporeon, Espeon, Umbreon, and Jolteon I'm just missing Sylveon. There was an EV, but I passed on the EV because I have way too many EVs already. But I did find a Sylveon the other day, so does that count? After lining them up, I'm missing Glaceon too. Y'all can stay. There's too much of y'all. <laughs> Sylveon and Glaceon would have been nice though. Found this CRQ Fenson Vintage Windbreaker, size XL for $4.99. Made in the USA. I don't know what brand it is because they put the tag right over it. Shout out Hypeland on that Sonic collab. I actually got some more on the way. Justin Timberlake puppet doll. Surprisingly not worth that much, but I guess this would be the one to get if you wanted these. <laughs> Cowboy Bebop key size XL for $4.99, but everything's actually half off today, so $2.50. Found this Texas tee for $4.99 on the Marina tag, but it is half off as well. And then I found this Slipknot tee for $4.99 and it's half off. And you got the big back graphic. It has all this writing on it. I can't tell if it's autographed or if somebody just wrote a bunch of stuff on it. <laughs> but either way, for $2.50, I'm grabbing it. A couple tees I found that I thought were cool. We got the Universal tee for $1.99. Size tag is missing, but it has like this big grease stain on it. So that kind of sucks. And then the Mini Cooper mini challenge tee and that one's a dollar 99 as well I found these jordan one mids they want 30 dollars from size 7y i just thought the material was kind of weird on them it's like memory foam I found this guy chilling on the rack size large for 4.99 it does have like some light stains on it but i'm gonna wash it and see if i can get them out no lie i never look through the backpacks but for whatever reason today i was like i'm gonna look for them you never know maybe i'll find a spray, a spray ground backpack and then of course i found one <laughs> they do want 20 bucks for it but it's brand new with tags we got some marina blues in a size 1.5 why probably gonna pass on though because condition wise they're pretty rough they want 13 bucks for them but what i am gonna get is a pair of the iversons in the ghost of christmas pass colorway in a size 10 men so they're my size i don't think i need them so I found these Black History Month Air Max 95s. I thought someone like ripped the cover off of them, but I guess they came that way. Kind of an odd choice in design, but <laughs> they went $13 for them size 10, which is not too bad. I also found a big Bulbasaur for $6.99. Found a pair of Yeezy Salts, Yeezy 500 Salts. I have no idea if they're legit or not. They want $25. They feel okay. I took the insoles out and the stitching and everything underneath looks good. I don't know. Do I take the $25 gamble on them and get them legit checked? Hmm. I found these Nike United Baller shorts, size XL. Number 34, Paul Pierce, 899 size XL. Of course, it's whenever they were on the longer side. So I just came out the thrift store. Uh, shout out to the lady at the counter. I don't know if she did it on purpose, but um, so this, I got the Black History Month Air Maxes. I got those Yeezys. I took the gamble on them, uh, get them legit checked and see if they look if they're legit, but they look okay to me. I got those Paul Pierce shorts and then the Bulbasaur. But so just the shoe, the two shoes alone was supposed to be like $40 because these were $13 and these were $25. But she gave me all four items for $25 total. So I don't know if she gave me something half off or what, but uh, I appreciate it. So let's go see what else we can find. This is true. Got a pair of 990v4s in the grandpa gray color that everybody loves. They want $17 for them, and I cannot tell what size they are because the size tag is really faded. They're pretty rough on the bottom too now that I'm looking at them. Found the Randy Orton T XL for $1.59. Honestly, might hold on to this one. We got the hashtag out of nowhere whenever that was a thing. Hopefully the rumors aren't true and he does make a comeback and he doesn't have to retire, but we shall see. All right, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of this week's trip to the thrift. If you guys did enjoy the videos, hit that like button. It lets me know. It helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below and hit that sub button if you guys are not already. And I will see you guys next week with another one later.